Hello everyone, as a software developer, if you are developing something, then you will have to deal with the pull request. And every pull request will have some review comments as well. Now, to view these review comments, you will have to switch in between your Visual Studio, it means the editor and the browser, because browser is the only place where you can see your review comments. But there is a new feature that has been added in the Visual Studio, and by using this feature, you can see all the review comments of your pull request directly inside your Visual Studio coding file. And that would be very easy to fix, easy to find out, and everything is super smooth over there. So let's try this new feature of Visual Studio and see how this new concept works. So for that, here I'm using this Visual Studio 2022 and make sure you are using the latest version. So if I click on this help button and click here on this about Microsoft Visual Studio, then you can notice that this is the latest version that I'm having in my system. This is 17.11.0 preview one and make sure you are using at least this version because this feature is available only in this version. If you are using any lower version than this, then you will not see this feature over there. If you are using some greater version in future, then definitely you will get this feature in those latest versions as well. And here for this demonstration, we can create any type of project because this is not about specific to any kind of project. This is about the Visual Studio. So for the testing purpose, let's just quickly create a new project. And for the simplicity, I will be creating a console application. So this is the console application. Click on this next button. And this is the name of my project, sample app PR comments. You can give any meaningful name over here. So I'm clicking on this next button. And as I told earlier that this is not about specific to the .NET Core or any other programming language version. This is only about the connection in between the Visual Studio and the Git provider. Click on this create button. And here you can see we are having this simplest console application. Now let's not focus on the files over there. Now we need to initialize a repository over here. And I want to push this repository from my this Visual Studio to a particular server. And in this case, I will be using GitHub. Now I want to initialize a repository in my local system by using this Visual Studio. And for that, we can use these built-in features. So there is this menu Git. And here you can notice we are having the option create Git repository. Click on this one. This will open a new window and over there you can set all the details about this repository. So I want to store this repository on GitHub. You can choose GitHub, Azure DevOps or if you are using other providers then you can also provide the settings over here. Click on this existing remote and you can set all these details at this place. Now in this demonstration I will be using this GitHub and this is the path of my source code in my local system. This is the git ignore template, fine, license template, let's use any one of them. MIT is fine in this case. Add a readme file. So this is the account for my GitHub account. And here you will have a list of all the owners in your GitHub account. Then this is the name of the repository. And let's use it demo. Description, private repository. And this is going to be the URL of your repository on the GitHub server. So here I'm clicking on this create and push button. So first of all, it will initialize the repository. Then it will commit all your changes. And it will also push the changes from your local system to the server repository. So we will verify the details later, but here you can notice we are having this master branch. Let's get another branch because we will have to deal with the pull request. That's the main purpose. The name of the new branch is this development. It is based on the master and I want to check out. Here you can see the current branch is this development. And here let's create a new file. Let's use the GitHub Copilot to generate some code over here. So here I'm writing this line generate some methods for CRUD for employees. Click over here. So this will generate some methods for us. This is fine. Let's just accept it. And here you can notice that we are having some code. Now, without making any further change, I know that there are some errors in this code, but it is not about the error or functionality. It is all about the PR review comments. So let's click on this view and click on this git changes. And here I'm going to add a new line, added, added employee repository and click on this commit role, let's push the changes. So here you can notice that we have pushed our changes in the development branch. Now to merge these changes from this development branch to the master, we will have to raise a pull request. And there are two ways to raise that pull request. One is you can raise the pull request directly from your browser by using the GitHub UI, or you can also create this pull request from your Visual Studio. So I want to create this pull request from this Visual Studio. So here you can notice we are having this option, create in Visual Studio click over here. This will open a new window and at this place you will see that it will show you all the changes. 
So this is the title of my pull request. Here you can enter the description and here you can notice we are having the option to create this pull request. If you will click on this drop down then you will see we are having some more options. One is this create and if you want to create the draft PR then you will have to use the enterprise version of the GitHub. So if I click over here then you will notice that it is redirecting me to the GitHub pricing and to work on this draft PR concept you will have to use this enterprise version. I'm not having this enterprise version that is why that option is disabled for me. So let's create an active PR and for that I'm clicking on this create button. So the pull request has been created for us successfully. If I want to see the changes then I can click on this pull request one and this will open the details in my browser so here you can notice that this is my github account that's the name and this is the repository and this is my pull request if i go on this code then you will notice we are having two branches one is this master and second is this development we are having all the files over here there are two branches and if i go to the pull request then we are having this pull request now let's assume that someone who is reviewing this pull request has added some comments over here so let's add some comments as well over here that so here first command is create this missing employee class. Let's add few more comments over here. This is just for the demonstration. So at this place you can notice that I have added three review comments in this particular file. The first one is this create missing employee class. The second one is this data must be unique. And the third one is this make sure to add validations. Now let's switch back to our Visual Studio. And here again we are in our Visual Studio. And here you will see that a new option has been enabled for us. Here you can notice we are having this PR1. It means we are having one pull request and if I click on this one then you will see we are having one option so comments in files. If I click on this one then all the review comments that are there we will see directly in our Visual Studio. So here you can notice that I'm having this comment at this particular place. Let's assume that I am just resolving this particular issue. Click on this resolve button, refresh this change. This time you will notice that one of them will be resolved. So here you can notice that this issue has been resolved. So it means you can review all the changes directly from your Visual Studio. You don't have to switch in between your browser and the editor. If I want to navigate in between these review comments, then I can click on these options. So here, if I will click on this one, then I will be navigated to the next one. If I'm clicking on this one, then I will be navigated to the previous review comments. You can resolve these comments directly from this Visual Studio. Let's resolve all of them and this one if i go to the browser now and refresh the changes then you will notice we are having all of them in the resolved state so this is how things work over here but as of now i don't think that there is any option to add a new review comment from your visual studio so maybe that feature will be added in future but as of now what we have all the existing review comments that we are adding from browser we can see them in our visual studio I think this is going to be a very good feature for developers and for the code reviewer as well because they don't have to switch in between their browser and the editor and of course if you are reviewing the code in your visual studio editor then it gives a very good comfort as well instead of reviewing the code on the browser let me know your thoughts about this feature in the comment section below and to get more updates make sure to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching have a great day